What's going on y'all? So today we're going to be making a gamification feature where we're going to make a progress bar that is going to be dynamic to the information that you type in a text field. So for example, if you type your email address in um, and you have three other text fields remaining, then it will increase the progress bar by 25% when you move on to the next text field. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so first things first is I'm going to make a directory for the project. I'm going to call it progress bar. And inside of there, I am going to do npx create react app and I'm going to call it progress bar. I'm also going to make another a separate um, terminal. I'm going to go into the desktop, YouTube, and then progress bar. And there I'm going to install and design. So that's where we're going to import the um, progress bar itself. Now you can use any other um, library, but I just, I'm just going to use this because it's the easiest one for me to use. So it just be npm i and the dash i save so the i just stands for install and i will be back once it's installed all righty then so once you've installed the react installed ant design we're going to go ahead and open up the source inside of the uh, progress bar folder and i'm going to go ahead and clear this information out from the header and i'm going to get rid of this logo because we don't need that anymore i'm going to do a class app extends composition component I do a render, do one of those, one of these, do some of those, control shift P, do some of that, and that should go it. Cool. I'm gonna make sure everything works, save it. Component is not, alright, I'm gonna import it. The component, save it. And I'm gonna put in a H2 that says hello. Perfect, that all works. Alrighty then, now that we have everything ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. Create a form tag. So the form tag, I'm going to make a, I'm going to make an input, not an input, 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 input. Um, I'm not sure there's input. Be. I'm going to do type is equal to text. Should we do text? No, let's do type is equal to email. Um, we'll do an ID of email. And I'm gonna copy this, save it, save it, save it. I mean, paste it, paste it, paste it. I'm gonna do one of these, do some of that, do one of those, and I'm gonna call this one password. I'm gonna call call this one address. I don't know. I'm just BSing now. I'm not, I don't know what I should call these ones. Uh, email password. This one name, name. Name, save that. See if we already did print it out, and we do. Perfect. All right. Now we want to make a constructor with props. So part of props. Inside of there, we're gonna do this. Dot state equal to email empty string. We're gonna do password empty string. We're gonna do excuse me, address empty string and name empty string and we might as well also do progress at zero you'll see why in a bit all right so for the next step what we're going to do is we're going to have to import a progress bar from ant design or whatever library you're using so i'm just going to do import progress from ant d and i'm going to go ahead and find a progress bar from ant design and would you look at here found one uh, i'm just going to copy this code right here for it so it'll be this line right here and I'm just going to paste it right in here, just like that. And it should, after it's done compiling, work eventually. All right, there we go. All right, so for our next step, what we're going to do is we're going to create a function that's going to be responsible for rendering or changing the progress of the progress bar. So I'm going to call it progress change. I'm gonna give it a parameter of e curly braces, and it'll be if oh no sorry let progress equal to zero. So this is gonna be the initial value of progress when we start. So if this dot state dot email is not equal to empty string, we're going to do a progress plus equal twenty five, and so we're gonna repeat this over and over and over again. For all the other ones too, so I'm gonna copy this, paste it, paste it, paste it. I'm gonna change 
this one to password. Go down. I'm going to change this to address. And I'm going to change this to name. So that takes care of that. And now I'm also going to have to change the state. So this dot set state. Is it equal to? No, it's just the curly braces and then that. Um, progress, progress. All right, so that takes care of this function, which is responsible for changing the value of progress every single time something is written inside of the text box. All right, so now we're gonna make a handle submit function. Uh, sorry, handle change function. We don't need a handle submit function because this isn't gonna be submitted anywhere. So it'll be handle change with the event proper, pop up, that, like that, whatever the, whatever it's called, this dot set state. I'm gonna do one of those, do one of these, and I'm gonna do e dot target dot id, and then I'm gonna do e dot target dot value. So I'll target the value of the text box. And since we're targeting dot id, we already put id in here. So now what we have to do is we have to find a, I don't know if it's called property or not, but we have to find a property um, that is gonna be responsible for when we Hover over this, we type something, and then we leave. This should go from 0 to 25 if it's only 1. Um, so that prop property or parameter, whatever it's called, it's called on blur, equal to this dot, mm, this dot, what was it called again? This dot, progress change. Progress change. And then I'm just going to copy this. Actually, I should probably also do, um, I also have to do handle change, so. On change, I'm going to do a this dot handle change as well. And I'm going to copy this, all of it, all of it, copy it, and paste it right in here. Paste it in there, and paste it in there. That should complete the project now, technically. Never. Oh, also, we have to do this dot state dot progress. All right, please work. Please work. Okay, so zero percent, which makes sense because state is at zero, and so let's do F. Oh, F, 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 and now you have a gamification feature that you can add in your application whenever you want. Congratulations, you did it. Go have a coffee or whatever you want to do. So hopefully, you guys learned something new off this tutorial, and if you didn't, damn. But if you did, that's great. You might be wondering what is the use case of a project like this. I wanted to talk about this at the end of the video because I just wanted to get the tutorial done. But a use case that you can use this for is, let's say your buddy calls you up and he's asking you, hey, can you make me four text boxes with no CSS, a progress bar from Ant Design, and make it dynamic so whenever you type something, you go to the next text box, it increases by exactly 25%. You can tell him you can do that. You tell him you can do. Tell him you can do that. But in all seriousness, this is just a simple gamification feature that you can add in your application, if you want. But it is really fun to see how to work with this sort of stuff. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.